Yo, boys, so just uh, so you guys can see, Richarlison just scored, um, and I sold about all 30 of mine at 35 to 36K. I bought all of them at 20. So this is the power of ones to watch trading. I just made 550K because um, I had a good feeling about a game, and I kept a lot of these players that I bought really cheap. So yeah, as we get into the video, uh, today's video is going to be really good. It's going to be talking about making coins off ones to watch, the, the trends, the processes of it. I think for me, I'm probably one of the best ones to watch traders in the world. Like this is my stuff. I watch a lot of the games. I have good feelings about the game. So today's going to be a whole in-depth video, kind of just talking to you guys about how ones to watch trading works, how you can make coins, when to buy, when to sell, how to play it safe, how to take a risk, how to always make coins off it if you want to take a risk. Um, and so I hope you guys enjoy the video. I just retried and just scored. And I took the profit and I sold all of these at 35, 36. So it's a great feeling, man. I made 15,000 coins a card on like 35, 30 cards. So I just made a lot of coins um, and hope you guys enjoy the video. Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from on the foot market. I am up. I'm, I'm here early for you guys because I got a video that you guys have to see. Um, it's going to be a video on ones to watch. And I wanted to do, I have a ton of videos coming for you guys this week. Uh, things that I have thought about. A lot of you guys have been asking, when is that series going to start up that I do every year? I last traded a road to R9, a trading to 100K. This year, we're going to probably do something with trading to Balak. We'll trade to Baby Balak. Um, you guys have to let me know in the comments down below, which console do you want to see this on? Because I'm on PlayStation right now, but a lot of you guys have been telling me that you want to see it uh, on Xbox. So you guys can let me know in the comments down below which console you guys want to see that on. What it will be, essentially, is the series will be uh, a few up, uh, probably a few uploads every, every two weeks. Um, and it's going to be more of an account that we do a lot of trading on early on, but then we start to do investing and we start to do things like that for promos as we as we move on. So you guys can see the process of maybe some investing and taking some risks and some things like that. So yes, it's going to be really fun. I can't wait for that. And a lot of good videos coming for you guys this week. Um, today's video is going to be how to make coins off of ones to watch cards uh, on FIFA Ultimate Team. So uh, right now, uh, Witzel is 39,000 coins um, and he's actually playing a game. So. I have I am making coins on him because he's playing right now. Now what I did was I did some uh, I did some um, I did some research, right? I I, I bought Witzels at 30, 30 to thirty two thousand coins yesterday morning. I knew that he was playing today, and I thought that he might get a little bit of hype as he was going to be in the starting lineups and things like that. Um, so what today's video is going to be is talking about how to make coins trading with ones to watch cards and how to make safe coins. You guys can make guaranteed coins with ones to watch cards every single game day. You guys can make. The safest, safest, safest coins. I'm telling you right now, from one brother to another, all right? It's very, very safe to make coins off of once the watches, and there's a way to do it, right? So this card right here, I purchased for 32,000 coins. I sold it 39K. I have about 15 Witzels, um, and I'm selling them all right now, and, and, and some of them I'm listing a little lower. Other other ones I have, I have Richarlison's, right? I picked up Richarlison's at like 20, 21, and I have a lot of Richarlison's. I have probably like 25 Richarlison's. Richarlison's playing Leicester City right now. Um, and uh, it's a big game. He's actually playing strikers, so he's seen. He he he's getting a a, a good amount of hype uh, as he's he's got a position change. He's gonna be he's gonna get a lot of hype. So he's 27 right now. So I could get on here and take seven to six k a card. Um, but I have a good feeling about Richarlison today. So I'm gonna hold for a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna sell half of mine at halftime when I'm up on profit, probably for 25 to 26. And look, it's 4,000 coins, but hey, I have 25 of them, right? So I'm making 100k. Off of preparing for a once to watch game day. Um, so you guys gotta think about it like that. Like all I did with Richarlison and Witzel was I purchased these cards about two days ago, one and a half days ago. I bought them when I thought they were low. I I, I knew their their kind of price fluctuations and things like that. And I and I'm I'm now, I'm now selling them for a guaranteed profit before the game days. So here's the deal, right? Once to watch is is complex, right? If you guys don't know what once to watch cards are, they're live items. Um, and they they go up a lot on the market based off of how they're playing in I IRL. So if the guy scores a goal, it's more it's more more than likely that this Carl Higuain will go up 50, 40,000 coins. So it's kind of a risk reward situation. Um, the best time to buy ones to watch cards, and I just wanted to tell you guys, like the best 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 time to buy these cards is right after the game. If you guys can pick these cards up after they play, usually about two hours after the guys play, that is when they go low. Um, so. A lot of you have been asking me, when are we going to buy ones to watch? When are you buying ones to watch? Um, and they go out of packs on Tuesday or Monday or Tuesday. So I'm going to have to, you guys are going to want to pick up these ones to watch cards. If you guys like Lamar, if you like Richarlison, if you like Witzel, you're going to have to hope that they have a bad game this weekend and you're going to buy them after they play. You're going to buy them after they play this weekend because that's when they're going to be crashing down. And this is kind of like a last chance weekend to buy ones to watch because for me, 
after this weekend, once the watch is going to start really going up, you're going to start to see the once the watch cards um, really, really, really start to go up because what's going to happen is right now, once the watch cards have a certain supply on the market, so they're being supplied all week. And after this weekend, their supply is done. So they have no more supply. Um, all they had was this week in packs. And then all it is, is it's just the ones to watch trend, man. That's what it is. It's, it's, is this guy going up now? The idea of these cards, right? Is that they, they pretty much lull all week. Um, and, and, and then within 24 hours of the game day, they start to rise up. So you'll see within 24 hours of game day that once the watch cards, uh, will start to, will start to rise up. That's, that's the natural trend of them. And it's what they do. Um, so you guys can see right here. I'll, I'll give you guys a few examples, right? Um, Let's see, Goretzka was 125 last night. He's playing today, this weekend. So he's starting to rise up a little bit in value. You know what I'm saying? So it happens with all these cards. Charleston was 21 last night. Witzel was 30 to 32. Um, Fred was down. I think Fred was like 55, 56. So Fred's now 69. So there's a way for you guys to make guaranteed coins with ones to watch. And what it is, is it's learning the trends of when they're low, right? Like trying to figure out when are when is the card low and when can I get him? And usually, a lot of people like to invest for ones to watch all week. They like to invest a week before. I don't think you have to invest a week before. I actually think that everybody can invest two days before their game. I think you can still get in at a price that's reasonable um, to, the, to the extent that you guys will make good coins. I think that that is a legit way that you guys can make coins off of ones to watch. It's just, you have to understand with ones to watch is like, you have to try to read the trends of them. I'll give you an example, right? Jorginho, I believe, I think Chelsea's playing today or tomorrow. Jorginho yesterday was 39 and 40,000. So now he's 43 and we're not even, you know, it's, it's, it's not even game time yet. So it's starting to rise up. And what that is, is that's called the pregame hype. Um, people buy into the card. They buy in late because they think the player is going to do well on that given game day. Right? So what it is, is it's, it's people, it's people, it's people expecting a big performance out of that player. And then it, it, it turns into them rising up in value because people have these high expectations, which makes sense, right? I, I understand it. Um, I've been trading with ones to watches guys for like two years last year I made like 50 to 60 million off them. Here's the deal with ones to watches I'm telling you guys in this video how to make safe guaranteed coins with these ones to watch players All right, you guys could be ballsy people and hold them during the game I'm gonna hold some Richarlison today and I may lose some coins or break even but it's worth that risk You got to understand with a player like Richarlison um, a player like Anybody like Witzel Quincy proms anybody who's got an overpowered card right now any of these guys who has a good performance or does well and is team of the week worthy, um, what you're going to see is that they're going to absolutely explode in price because they're they're an overpowered card, right? It's like, that's the risk you're taking. You're, you're, you're either saying, hey, I'll sell half, and that's what I usually do. You'll see me, I'll sell half of my Richarlison's today, I'll make a guaranteed 50k, and I'll hold my other half in, in, in the idea that he may score or he may play well. So that's kind of how I think with once the watches. Um, what I would tell you is that a good example of, of a ones to watch card that has already done well, Felipe Anderson had one goal last week and then he got a team of the week in form. He was like 68k before last game. He's now 115. And that's not even a that's not even a massive rise. So Felipe Anderson has been a prime example of a card that has fit how to make coins off of ones to watches. You probably could have sold five Felipe Andersons before the game last week to make some guaranteed coins. And if you held five and then he scored and he exploded, you would have made it you would have made a ton of coins, right? So that's the trend of ones the watches that you either can sell before the game for some guaranteed profit as people are buying into the cards and then you can hold a few of them during the game to to make some riskier coins and then a lot of people have been asking me hey nick when is the best time to sell ones the watches like if they score do i sell yeah you would sell within the five minutes that they score you will see if, if they score you will be able to tell on the market they will be rocketing up like anyone you try to buy will be bought um and that's kind of the idea of ones to watch is that it's just this mass People go crazy when these players score. It doesn't even matter the player. You could have the worst player in the ones to watch team. And if they score, they will just absolutely explode. They'll explode in price. So it looks like right now, Richarlison's going up. I don't know what's going on with Richarlison. Um, but yeah, they, they will just absolutely explode in price. That's kind of the deal. Did Richarlison just score? I might, I might be looking at a live Richarlison scoring right now. I don't know. This guy's flying right now. Um... But, yeah, this is interesting. I don't know. He's freaking flying right now in, uh, in price. But anyways, look, it's just, that's probably not, I don't think there was a goal, but people are just buying into the card, right? They're, they're getting in with it. Um, and that's the trend of Ones the Watch, guys. I just want you guys to see it. That is how Ones the Watch works. Um, you guys could take guaranteed profit every game, or you guys could play risky. That's up to you. What I will tell you guys, just as a final thing uh, to end this video and talk about some players, all these guys, again, I just talked about it, are going to be out of packs 
um, after this weekend. So I would look into picking up some of the ones that I like the most. Iguain I want to get because I think Iguain is going to be a, a, a perennial th a perennial threat, um, and and for me, I think there's a few other ones. I think you got to look at Cancelo. I think Cancelo reminds me a lot of Kyle Walker from last year. I think Cancelo is a player that is very overpowered and very in demand. Um, and Cancelo's ones to watch, I think, is only about 99. So I think out of packs, you're going to see Cancelo's card rise up just because people are going to be expecting that inform coming up, um, and I think that that is a very good look. People, again, if you're asking me what time will I buy these cards, I'll be buying these cards after they play this weekend. So I'll be I'll be picking up these cards uh, after they play this weekend because that's kind of, for me, going to be the final kind of buy time, if you guys know what I'm saying. So I like Cancelo. I like Iguain. I like Nangolan a lot. The only problem with Nangolan, and the thing I do like about Nangolan is that he's really, 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 really rare, um, which I can really, really, really appreciate. But saying that, it's a tough one, right? You, you're going you're gonna to be at that price for Nangolan you're going to definitely be taking a little bit more uh, of a risk, right? It's because it's it's a, it's a not a cheap card. So at that price for nine goal, and you got to understand that Raj is a little bit more of a risk um, than a lot of other players. Cancelo, uh, Cancelo, I like a lot. Um, did that just sell instantly? So you guys can see, man, this is this is, this is is the idea of ones to watch. They're very, 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 I'm pretty sure if you guys go check out that Richarlis and it's probably sold. They're very, 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 uh, they, they're high in volatility. They, they move a lot on the market. Um, yeah, so I would say Cancelo. Uh, Cancelo and then Golan, Higuain, uh, Mars. I do like, I would like Mars to get in the starting lineup a little bit more. And then I really like Lamar, uh, Lamar, Witzel, and then Richarlison and Moussa Dembele are some of my favorites. I think Moussa Dembele has been fantastic, uh, this year so far for, um, for Leon. And I think he's going to continue to be good. And at, at, at like 10,000 to 10 to 12 K, you cannot go wrong with a, like a discard French once the watch card that you got to understand the deal with once the watch is that. You'll see with Musa Dembele, his first upgrade will be absolutely massive. This card will go up uh, to like a 81 rated with just insane statistics. So I look at this guy as, as a very good long-term investment. And then I also think Richarlison with the first upgrade being like an 81 or an 82 would just be an insane, insane card in the Premier League. So I look at I look at ones to watch as all, always kind of like a looking at it in terms of a, of, of a potential kind of game. So that's what I'm looking at right now. That's why I like Richarlison. It's why I like some of these guys so much that I'm pointing out in this video. Hopefully this gave you guys an idea or a live look at like how to make coins once watches. I'm recording this video right as some of these games are on. So you're seeing me sell some of these players and take some of the coins. Um, thank you to everybody for watching the video today. Happy ones to watch trading. It is really fun. It's a good way to keep up with real life uh, football and watch games and, and, and get involved and make some coins with these players. I love it. It's my favorite avenue of trading. I make the most coins off it every year. Um, so yeah, boys, hopefully this video helps you guys. And if you have any questions, get in the comments down below. Um, and yes, I will see you guys in video so, so soon. Thank you guys for watching the video. Peace out.